So this guy asked me out the other day, and I mean, he's a really nice guy, but just has a serious beer belly. I don't understand, he is fit except for his belly. I kind of noticed that, is it kind of like the, it looks like a baby bump almost, right? right? Yeah. I mean, when we gain weight, I mean, we gain it here, we gain it in the stomach, in the butt, you know, thighs, guys. I mean, they could have a completely flat butt, gain 10, 15 pounds, and it goes all right there. Excellent point. In fact, it's such a great point. We asked Lisa, who brought it up, to be here today. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. So one of the things I heard mentioned there is, you know, my boyfriend, he's in such great shape, except for his beer belly. Men who have a, a beer belly, they're not in great shape. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. Right, yeah. exactly. You want to come join me? I'm going to show a little demo. Sure. See you on the magic wall. Come on up. <laughs> Give him a hard time. So I'm going to ask you, Lisa, why do you think women tend to put on weight around the hips and buttocks? I think it has to do with childbearing. Look at this male and female. What do you think all that is shining in the woman? Female hormones, estrogen. estrogen. In the man, you know, we have estrogen, but less of it. So you'll watch here as this woman with all that estrogen floating through her system, watch the hips expand. So this area right in here is where women will put on a lot of weight, whereas the man will stay fairly trim in that area. But watch closely, ladies, because men will get this big old beer belly, and when that happens, they get that big apple shape, whereas the woman will really get it in her buttocks area, but it's healthier fat to have. It's there for a reason to raise children or to increase your fertility, things of that nature. So the estrogen is signaling that for a reason. That's good. When men develop this beer belly, their risk factors for diabetes, heart disease, a lot of the major killers goes sky high. And that's where, ladies, I have to plead to you, if your men start to develop that beer belly, you have to get on him to lose that weight. But it's important to know that that belly weight in men is so important to get rid of, and crunches aren't gonna do it. It's gotta be diet and exercise. And it's the same with women. Women, if you're out there, you're struggling, you feel like you've just got too much weight around your waist, whether you're a pear or an apple shape, usually a good program of diet and exercise will help get rid of that. It's just, if you have too much, it's gonna end up right here in most women. But Travis, also, people talk about spot reduction. They only wanna lose it in a certain place. There's really no scientific basis for just mm -hmm. spot reduction. You gotta lose it generalized all over and work on those areas. But you just can't lose it in this area and that area. It just doesn't work that way. The body you doesn't can't work if that I way. suck it out. <laughs> 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 and, and you know, I do, yeah. I do, I do liposuction. I, I do liposuction for men and women, probably more women. And where do I do it for women? It's in the hips, the thighs. But liposuction is not for weight loss. It's for mm -hmm. contouring and sculpting, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. the point being, it doesn't work on that classic male beer belly. And unless it? you're changing your lifestyle, that's going to come right back after you suck it Very out, Very right? true. Yeah, you know, it's in, uh, before we go to break, it's interesting to watch even as you get a little bit older in life and you watch your guy friends grow up making the wrong choices, the first place is just right around here.